guys on today's video i'm going to teach you how to update pages numbers and keynote so to do that you guys need to go into your app store so my app store we can see it down here below however the easiest way is to go to your apple logo which is on the top left hand corner you guys are going to click a third option where it says apple store and you guys should see three updates up here um by the way most of you will maybe in this page so up here just go to your last option where it says updates under updates just let it load and you guys will see pages keynote and numbers so right now these are the most current versions and we're gonna update them all you guys can update one at a time okay since they take a little bit of time to update or you guys can update them all this should not more take more than 15 minutes for most of you if you have extremely slow internet I can see this happening 30 minutes I wouldn't think it would take more than that even with really slow internet since they're not humongous updates. However, there's a lot of things that, well, there's small changes throughout this update, but there's nothing major that you guys will notice right away that, oh, this whole layout changed or something like that. It's um, more internal updates with it. And uh, there's actually a few other things that they incorporated, such as a new look with rounded corners and um, you guys will notice that on columns and bars anyways those are kind of little things regardless so like i said if you guys been waiting more than 30 minutes then um, if you guys still see a progress bar then i guess you just have to wait for it there might be something going on with the server but as you guys can see it's only a few megabytes you're not downloading a gig or two gigs for each one of these updates um, you're looking at basically maximum 80 megabytes which for most of you will not take more than five minutes um some of you 15 minutes and then some of you that have extremely slow internet like i said 30 minutes anyways um your computer will not require restart for this so you guys don't have to worry about that you guys can keep working whatever you guys want meanwhile this is doing its thing anyways that's it for this video tutorial if you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.